What is good YouTube? Back at y'all with another mother loving video. And today we're gonna be talking about sustenance and diet for my ball pythons. This is not what you have to feed your ball pythons. This is what I feed my ball pythons and where I get it from and how I decide how much they eat. Let's get it started. All right, so first and foremost, what do I feed my ball pythons? Me personally, I feed my ball pythons rats. Some people do mice, I prefer rats. You have a lot more bone or meat to bone ratio. So they're getting more out of the rats than they are mice. A lot of people that I've talked to, you know, are are happy with feeding their ball pythons, fully grown ball pythons, five to six mice every other week, as opposed to one rat. Now you might be asking yourself, where do you get rats from? You can't just go outside and catch rats and just throw them in with your snakes, right? You are 100% correct. A company that I go with is actually Rodent Pro. I've been using them for, oh, don't get in my, don't get in my shot. I have been using Rodent Pro for a while now. They ship in these boxes. I actually just got a shipment in today. So I'm gonna open this up and show you guys what I got. All right, so let's say you did order from Rodent Pro. You're gonna, it's gonna come in a box just like this. It's gonna open up like so. You're gonna have a lot of insulation because these rats are frozen, they are not alive. Pop open this ins insulation. A couple layers of insulation. Come on, open up, open up. All right, so it's gonna come with dry ice to keep your frozen rats frozen while they are in transit en route to your home. You're gonna have whatever rodents you ordered. They usually come packaged better than this. They're usually flattened, but they probably moved around a little bit in shipping. But Really quickly, if you guys are liking the video, make sure you guys drop a like on the video. Hop on over to the page and subscribe to the channel and hit the bell notification so that you're notified every single time I post. That is the easiest, cheapest way to support the channel and support your boy, you know, feel me? But it's actually free. It's so cheap that it's free. So you guys could definitely go ahead and do that even if you never watch any of my videos, which you should. Make sure you're subscribed. All right, so we're gonna take these over to our rodent freezer. It is not necessary to have a rodent freezer unless you have a wife or significant other that does not want rodents in the freezer with your regular food. I promise they will not come to life and eat your food or anything like that or breed and have babies and all that stuff. But okay, so we have our rodent freezer here. We are going to open up, take all of our so we're gonna put them down in the freezer. I ordered some bigger rodents because snakes are getting bigger. And all the rodents that I had were smaller. Got a couple more smaller ones too. Alright, so once you have all your rodents in, I always put the dry ice just over here on the side. So it doesn't need to be touching the the rodents. Also guys, I forgot to mention, make sure you are very careful when you are, sorry about the clutter in the garage, but make sure you're very careful. Watch out, man. Make sure you're very careful when you're dealing with the dry ice because it's very cold. It is so cold, in fact, that it will actually burn your skin if you touch it. So when you put it in your freezer, just dump it in the freezer. Don't actually grab it and put it in the freezer. Just in case you didn't know. Now you do. All right guys, so another frequently asked question is, how do you know what size rodent to feed to what size snake? So I'm gonna show you by pulling out some snakes and showing you what size they should be getting. All right, so here we have 
a nice, oh, she picked up dirt with her, but okay, so here we have a nice pastel clown female. Now, the way you're gonna decide what size rodent you're gonna feed this female is gonna be the biggest part of her body, the biggest girth part, is gonna be the, the biggest size rodent you're gonna feed them. The size of their gut should be the same size as the rodent's gut. So I wouldn't feed this female any rodent that's bigger than the size of the biggest part of the abdomen of that female or of that snake period. Slightly larger female. This here is a black pastel pied female. And as you can see, her girth is a tad bit bigger in this area. So I'm gonna be able to feed her a little bit bigger of a rodent, if that makes sense. And then we'll take it a step further and we'll pull out an even bigger female. This female is almost breeding size. We have an inchy vanilla yellow belly or asphalt female and the girth on her is about that big so we're going to be able to give her a rat that's about that size and i feed once a week so i feed every friday so after she eats on friday as long as she's able to digest it you know the heat the heat is correct the temperatures are correct as long as all of that is in order then she'll be able to eat again the next week so every Friday, she's gonna get a meal. Put her back. Last but not least, let's go with a smaller one. Right, so this is the smallest snake in my collection currently. This is a super pastel clown with a little bit of stuck shed on it. We'll get that off later. But as you can see, her girth is very tiny. She's gonna be eating a much smaller meal. A snake this size, I would feed mice if she would take it, either mice or a really small rat. Most, most likely I would try to do a small rat first, just to make sure that she'll be able to switch on to rats very easily when the time comes. But. All right then, so right along the same lines of feeding, you're gonna wanna make sure that all of your water dishes have a good amount of water in them. They should all be full. Now, feeding is important, but one thing that's probably more important is dehydration, which is the lack of water in their system. So, Always make sure you have enough water. Water helps with digestion as well. So if they're not getting enough food, then they're not gonna digest properly and they're not gonna wanna eat again the next week. So the aim is for them to eat every week. That way they can get size and eventually breed. But if they're not gonna eat every week and it's just because you haven't been putting fresh water in, you know, something, something very minor that you guys have to make sure you guys look at. All right guys, that's all I have for you guys today. Make sure you guys stay tuned to see more of these clowns and me. Uh, make sure you guys go over to the Instagram page and support the channel over there. Hey, quiet. Always messing up my videos, man. It's um, at TRM underscore exotics on Instagram. Also on Facebook. Um, yeah, stay tuned for more videos with these guys. And uh, I'll catch you guys later. Peace.